all right what's going on guys back on this front porch job and unfortunately i'm not going to be able to get the metal today for the roof because the guys are out of town on a big job but i've got the end started here so i'm going to go ahead and get all the framing finished which is just the little peak that comes out on the end of the gable here i'm going to get that all finished up and the only thing i'll have to do is the steel and the gutters and we'll be good to go So I'm always complaining about needing an extra hand. That's where these clamps come in. Because they can hold things in place for you so you can screw them in easier. All right. Then you line up the ends of your boards. And you can bump them after the fact with the clamp. and get them close right. now everything is lined up go ahead and drive some screws in Hopefully I'm getting this on camera. There you go. Now that it's screwed in, you can take your clamps off and you're ready to move on to the next section of the job. So I've got all the rafter tails on and I've got my first fascia board cut and mocked into place just gotta you know bring this joint tight in where it needs to go and then I'll be ready for screws on that well I'm at a stopping point for today I've got all the framing finished up except for possibly I'm gonna need uh an extra one across here across the bottom to hold the roof that's coming down on an angle but you can see i've got both of the fascias finished out now they come up to the peak there in the center and those quick clamps really come in handy for doing that sort of stuff uh, especially when you're by yourself so what i'm going to do is uh, take a walk out toward the front of the property a little bit and i'll uh, show you guys what it looks like from out there and then it'll be later today or tomorrow when i get the steel for the roof and i go ahead and put the steel on and put the gutter on so that's what it looks like from out here thanks for watching stick around for the finale back at the porch job again We've got our roofing steel, ridge cap, valleys. And then the next thing I went and did was get my left side gutter on, which meant I had to get that 90 degree in there. And then my gutter's on, the end cap is on. And then I've also put the drip edge on. So the next, part will be putting the roof on this section 
and then under the old roof I'm going to add a short section of roof for flashing so that roof comes out onto the new roof to keep everything waterproof to prevent more damage than was already there from the past. Now on this first piece of roof I took and I bent the end upward so I could get it underneath the existing roof and the reason I had to do that is because I had to get over just a little bit because I want all my seams to match when I bring that roof over I want to lay right on top of where this is going so I had to get this over a little bit which worked out fine because then that puts it under here because you want everything as a shingle effect as water comes downhill you want it to be able to get off of the roof and so now I've added this extra piece in here it shingles under the old roof and on top of the new roof and we'll keep that underside of that board nice and dry so now we can put the screws back in on the old roof and we're good to go now it's hard to get a color match perfect this is as close as my manufacturer could get and once the sap and whatnot get on it it'll blend in really well and you won't notice that there's a difference now i've got this piece in i had to hammer this flat to get underneath of this valley flash but it's up under there real good so now we can go ahead and put on these two pieces of roof and then our valley flash and then work our way up the gable this portion of roof is on now i was able to just take out these two t25s jack this up a little bit slide the roof under this section and then screw it back down so I just lack a half a dozen screws out there. This section of roof is done. I can go ahead and put my drip edge on this outside and then start working my way up the gable end. Got the valley flash in. Got two sheets on the long portion of the gable. I'm going to... Uh, Put a little screw in here to hold that into place and then you can see where the screws are through from that flash and I've cut that one off with the angle grinder and I'll cut the rest of those off as well all right now I've got half of the roof done all the metals up take you out this way gutters good I've done a leak test everything is looking good got marked for my downspout cutout drip edge all down that side and I'm ready to start the other side but first it's lunchtime all right so I'm back from lunch and the first thing I'm gonna do is take and double up that rafter right there because the customer has stated that they want to hang a swing from there so I'm going to go ahead and double that rafter for them so the only thing they'll have to do when they add their swing is I recommend adding a 4x4 post on this side that way it's got nice extra added structure and uh, it'll be safe for anybody to swing on I've got the gutter and the drip edge done on the right hand side of the roof. Now I'm ready to start putting the steel on this side. So this side is actually coming together a lot nicer than the other side, which is always the way you learn some tricks while you're doing it. So I've got the first long one in place and now I'm setting the ridge cap so I can finish working my way out to the end and then this job will be done save for the gutter downspouts so 
So all I lack is two long pieces and the drip edge. All right, so I'm getting this wrapped up. I've got the gutter downspout done over here. It just goes down to the ground. Uh, I'll suggest to the customer that they get a rain barrel. And then I put some expanding foam in there as well as the other side to stop any driving rain from coming in there since that roof is nearly flat it's just got a very very slight pitch on it and this way no driving rain will come into the porch it'll stay nice and dry so now all i lack is the downspout on this side and this job will be done so thanks for watching and stay around for more videos like comment subscribe if you have any questions just let me know and with the final downspout on the job is now complete